Chapter 8 is about exponents and scientific notation. So we're going to just start off basic, make sure everyone has the same foundation of understanding with the concept of exponents. One word that we use when we're talking about exponents is the word power. And a power is a product of repeated factors. The base of the power is the repeated factor. And the exponent of the power indicates how many times you use that factor. So we've got one half to the fifth. So that means that we use one half five times. Great. You might already know a lot of this back from sixth grade, but let's just make sure everyone is on the same page. One thing that might take a while for your brain to absorb is that the exponent only affects what it's next to. So you can't pick and choose what you want the exponent to stand for because of this thing that you learned about in fourth grade called the order of operations. So what we're used to seeing would be something like this, negative three to the fourth, look over here. And that means negative three used four times. But without the parentheses, we go over here, and this just means negative one times three to the fourth. Without the parentheses, the negative does not apply to the three. It applies to your final answer. So this is negative 81, whereas over here it's positive 81, and negative 81 and positive 81 are different numbers. So when you're using your exponents, please remember that you need parentheses when you're dealing with negatives and fractions. Let's just write things using exponents. So this first one is going to be negative 7. Don't forget your parentheses. I just went over why parentheses are important with negative numbers. And this one is going to be pi to the second r to the third. You can put a dot in the middle, but don't put an x. It looks like another variable, and it just gets super confusing. Evaluate is another word for find the answer. So what they're looking for is the number answer to these questions. So negative 2 to the fourth means negative 2 times negative 2, right? We're going to use it four times. So that gives you a final answer of 16. Letter B just means negative 1 times 2 to the fourth, which gives us negative 16. In letter C, we're going to raise our fraction to the third power. So we're going to write it three times. So negative 1 sixth times negative 1 sixth times negative 1 sixth. So the way that you multiply fractions is you just go straight across. So negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. So that's the answer that you give for this. Don't give it as a decimal because you typed it in your calculator. And letter D, just again, negative 5 to the 4th means negative 1 times 5 used 4 times. So uh, that is negative 625. When you come to class, I'll show you how to use the exponent key on your calculator. We're just going to bring things in and make it a little more complex, but using the same skills, we need to follow order of operations. So this probably looks super familiar to what you did back in fourth grade. Where so we're going to follow... 3 plus 2 times 3 to the 4th. Well, 3 to the 4th is 3 used 4 times, so that is 81. So that's 3 plus 162, which is 165. Order of operations says you do grouping symbols first, then you do exponents, then you do multiplication and division in order from left to right, and then you do addition and subtraction in order from left to right. Letter B, 3 squared is 9, minus 8 squared is 64, divided by 2. So I just did my exponents all in one shot. Then comes division, 9 minus 32. So that gives me negative 23 as my answer. 
Then the next one, I have 2 to the 5th comes first. So that's 9 minus 2 to the 5th is 2 used 5 times. So that is 32 times 0.5. So multiplication comes next. 9 minus 16, which is negative 7. Hopefully you remember these symbols from, I think, 6th grade, absolute value. What that means is that you do all the math in the middle, and then if you get a negative number, you just make it positive. So I'm going to do my exponents first. Negative 3 to the 3rd means negative 1 times 3 to the 3rd. Be careful, there are no parentheses. So that is negative 27 divided by 27, which gives me the absolute value of negative 1. So the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. Last one, example 4. Now we've got a word problem. The annual profit, P, earned by a technology company X years after opening is represented by this equation. How much more profit was earned in year five than in year four? So I'm going to tell you what to do, and you're going to pause the video, and you're going to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the value at four years, you're going to find the value at five years, and it wants to know how much more profit was earned. So you're then going to subtract, and when you're ready, plus play. So the answer is $6.1 thousand dollars, which we, in regular person speak, would be $6,100. But I left it as 6.1 because that's what the numbers gave me. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.